U.S. is bringing back two American aid workers in Africa who are sick with Ebola. Omar Villafranca is in Atlanta where at least one patient is headed. Atlanta's Emory Hospital is expecting one of the Ebola infected Americans within the next few days. The hospital's isolation unit has specialized equipment and a staff trained to care for infected patients. We have developed a unit which can safely care for a patient with a serious communicable disease, uh, delivering the highest level of care required, including, including intensive care unit. Dr. Kent Brantley and missionary Nancy Reipel were working in Liberia when they contracted the deadly virus. Both were given antibodies from an Ebola survivor. There is no vaccine or effective treatment for Ebola. And so the critical component of caring for a patient with Ebola virus infection is supportive care. The CDC has advised Americans not to travel to Sierra Leone, Guinea, and Liberia, where more than 700 people have died from Ebola. So the way it spreads in Africa is in hospitals where there isn't good infection control. But even with the infected workers coming to the U.S., government officials say there is no need for Americans to worry about the virus spreading. They say direct contact is needed with an infected person to get the disease, and that is very unlikely to happen in the U.S. Omar Villafranca, CBS News, Atlanta. The current Ebola outbreak has a death rate of 60%. For the first